Hi everyone and welcome back to a new video on the how to make a simulator game series. Now before this video starts, I want to let you guys know that I have a Patreon, so if you guys want to support me and want to have access to every single one of my tutorial files, they will all be available on my Patreon in the $10 tier. With that being said, let's start. So what I'm going to do in this tutorial is hopefully finish making the... Uh, actually start making the... Uh, DNA system or storage system where you can't get more than 15 points for example and it will say uh, 17 po points <coughs> out of uh, 17 and we'll hopefully make make it a limit and yeah let's start so what I'm going to do is have this uh, go to server storage go to player data go to uh, Add a string value called storage. Storage. Now uh, I'll just set the value of the storage to something like 20, and I'm going to go to my GY manager. Uh, no, it's not the GY manager, I think it's the text client or main client, yes. And what I'm going to do is watch it display dot value here and I'm going to check if the uh, confined first child uh, storage then else that and if we find the storage value, I'm going to change this to the player leader stats, uh, just this, based in this, dot value, and a dot dot, and a string, with a slash, and a, another dot dot, and plr dot leader stats, or dot um, storage dot value. Now, what I'm going to do is go to my currency holder, currency label holder and go to display underscore strength and I'm going to add a string value to it and I'm going to rename the string value to storage and after doing that I'm going to play the game and as you can see it will say 23 out of 20 uh, as you can see we go past the limit because we haven't coded that yet but what I'm going to do is just make this so that it starts with that before even we before we even play the game. Now we do have a little problem here, which is that okay, copy this if statement again and paste it here and add an else and copy this, paste it here, and after this we're gonna copy this. And paste it here. Hopefully that will work. And I'm pretty sure it will. And yes it does. And now we're going to be working on limiting the uh, uh, storage. The maximum amount of strength that the player will be able to get. So to do that, I'm going to reset my data first. So go to scripts, main server and i think it's in the modules uh so i don't remember what where we put the saving system script it's probably inside of the player data yes so i'm going to reset the key i'm going to add one random number and after doing that i'm going to close other scripts and what i'm going to do is inside of each tool in the game in this activated script before we go there I'm going to go to my remote controller and in this on activation thing what I'm going to do is check before we do this we will after checking the cooldown we'll just check if uh, player if two number player Dot leader stats square brackets uh, currency dot value plus um, the amount 
uh, plus two number amount is greater than uh, if it's greater than the hmm. let me think of this so we are going to check if we add the number to the current uh, amount of strength that the player has we want to check if that will be greater than the than the two number uh, player uh, player dot storage dot value then or let's change this to less not greater so if it's less than that then we're gonna add an amount else I mean else if two number uh, just copy this so if it's greater it's going to give a greater result than that then what we're gonna be doing if it's greater or equal to that then we'll just copy this paste it here and copy this paste it here and copy this and paste it here but now we're gonna set the player uh, dot leader stats dot current uh, currency dot value to instead of adding the amount we're gonna set that to the player storage value so player dot storage dot value and now if I play the game my data should be reset but it will only work with item 2 uh, actually no it won't it will work with every single item in the game because this is server sided let's check if this works so i have zero out of 20 it gives me two i can go up to 20 and let's check if it will limit me to 20 strength yes it did as you can see i am clicking you can hear the mouse clicking but it's not giving me any strength but now if i sell and get a better weapon and I have no idea why the shop is not loading. Now that's some weird stuff. Uh, so I'm thinking we have some errors. Probably. But that's really weird. Why is the shop not loading? Okay, let me try to rejoin. Now I'm really, really hoping that this is not because of me not saving my progress since the last video, hopefully. Okay, let's check. Main SS, GY manager, currency, frames, shop, info, scrolling frame, only one template. Which is very weird. Okay, now this is scary. Let me just go back here and check if this works. So we do have the items in replicated storage. And what I'm going to do is just print looped. And after that, after setting the, after flowing the template and doing all of that stuff, thinking it's because of some way for child that's not working, or maybe, okay, let's just check this. It did say looped. And we do have the bind system saved. And what I'm going to do now is try to find a fix for this. So it does not print this though. Okay, I'm thinking it's because of the order value. So sword 2 is set to that. And the order of sword 
3 is set to that. That is fairly weird. If price and image ID and the order, then I'm going to just print. Mm, looped. Uh, print found uh, item found. And hopefully it does print item found. Okay, so it did print item found. But what's weird is whatever happens after that does not work. Main client. If that's the case, then we're just going to continue. Okay, I think I, I think I got it. It's probably, it probably has to do with this. Okay, I'm going to just print. Mm, item is in the right order. And let's check if this actually works. Looped item found, and it does not say item is in the right order. So what I'm going to try to do is remove this if order dot value is equal to i, and instead just remove that if statement completely, and play the game now. That should work. Okay, I'm pretty sure that would work. Yes, it does. But I'm um, not liking this. But that's a temporary fix for now. We'll be fixing this later. Okay, so we have two strengths. If I just go ahead and buy a better weapon. Maybe this sword. As you can see, it gives me a lot more per click. I think it's about three. And as you can see, everything works just fine. Now, we do have to find a fix for the thing that we've just encountered. So we're going to be doing just that and let's do it right now. I'm going to just format this if price and order. And in here, I'm going to check if I is not equal to zero is not equal to zero, then I'm just going to copy this, paste it here. And after that, I'm going to check if I is equal equal to order dot value is equal equal to two number. I think it's a, I'm pretty sure it's a, int value yes yeah, so we don't need a two number and then i'm going to do this i think it's because i was set to zero and that did not work and guess what it does not work she's very weird and my mouse is so buggy right now it's broken so Hmm, so that this does not work. Let me just check print I. So will it print the number? One, two. Okay, it did print the number. But it does not load the template. So to fix that. If I is equal to order dot value. Okay, so I'm not going to be fixing this in this episode. This episode would be, would be way too long if I'm just messing around with this like that. So I'm just going to put everything back. Just control Z. Get rid of those if statements. And I'm going to keep it simple. And I think... 
this is going to be it for today's tutorial. If this helped, make sure to subscribe, like the video, share it with your friends, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!